Hey y'all, my name is Kiji Bill and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today is just going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, and while I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to show you guys the products that I'll be using for this makeup look. Just a chill, laid back video while I do my makeup, thought we just chit chat a little. Um, I already did my eyebrows off camera and my um, eyeshadow because it takes time. And I didn't color correct, so y'all look at my face. <laughs> I've been breaking out so bad, y'all. And no, it's not for the products I've been using. Um, I'm on different medications, so some of them cause acne breakouts. And bro, <laughs> the breakout is real. Just know. Just know it's real over here. It's real. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this video. So, I thought we'll chit chat with, like, I don't know. I was having this conversation with, um, I guess I was having this conversation with my sister, not and my boyfriend at the same time, but at different occasions. And I remember telling, um, my sister like, bro, we really don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> We're like really lame. And then I just started to think like, as you get older, you kind of grow out of certain relationships. And it's not just friendships. It can be business ships, like jobs. You know, you just, you don't want to be at that job anymore. Or just like certain friendships you thought that will last forever. Pause, guys. I used the Morphe palette on my eyes today. Look kind of, cause I actually use it. So. I use every color in here. Yeah, use every color in here. <laughs> so, and it's only what five shades. These are the shades, bro. Yeah, so. But yeah. So like, I was having a conversation with my sister and my boyfriend. Like, I was like, babe. <laughs> I was like, I just, I feel like, he has a lot of friends. Let's just, let's just say that. And I, on the other hand, my best friend is my older sister. Yo, I forgot to put primer on, so let me do that real quick. The primer I'm using today is this Fenty Beauty Primer, um, the soft matte one. I forget what it's called. But it's the soft matte one. This is what it looks like. Can you all and I'm gonna put everything I use in the description box below, like I said earlier, if I didn't say it now. But um, I was having this conversation with him and I was like, is it me? Because <laughs> as I get older, like, I notice friends that I have from, like, childhood and high school, I don't, I'm not, like, I don't, they're not even in my association group. And I think about that. I can't say all of them, like, just majority of them, because um, the couple of friends I do have now, I've known since high school but like childhood childhood friends no we're not like friends or anything anymore you know what I mean so and I was just asking him like my boyfriend about that because like he's been friends with his friends since like childhood like he has a couple friends from elementary school most of his friends from like high school and up till now like he, he'll just call them up and you know they're there I can't say that for me but then as the same thing I have to think about like it's just how you are as an individual because are you that type of person that are like friendly with everybody and you can just always be around somebody I'm not you know what I'm saying like I'm not that type of individual that's always going to be like let's just be friends all the time like no I feel like you gotta like, I got to show you that I'm a good, honest person to be around. You got to show me y'all my face. <laughs> my face just hasn't been the same. I had a bug on this story. The, not the story, but my discussion. Because, y'all, this face. <laughs> it has not. It has just been breaking out so bad. It took me years, y'all, to get my face looking like, okay, I can walk out the house with a makeup on. Like, now it's like, girl, if you don't put some concealer on before you scare somebody. No, I'm scared. 
these breakouts are serious, y'all. It's like not even funny. But yeah, like I was saying, um, I feel like in life, as you get older, you just grow out of certain um, situationships, <laughs> friendships, relationships, anything. Like you just, excuse me, you're not. Um, I drink some tea because my stomach. And I just, I haven't been feeling well usually. I think in my last video I said I was not feeling well, and I'm still not. Been real over here in these streets, y'all. Where the heck is my concealer brush? Cause I, oh, okay, <laughs> I was looking for it. But yeah, like I don't know. Um, I just feel like it's okay as you get older, and I don't. That my issue was always expecting a me out of everybody, and like, girl, you gotta understand not everybody rolls like you. You know what I mean? I had a friend that I was I felt like we wouldn't we will always be friends because we vibe so well together but at the same time we're on different paths you know what I'm saying like she's doing her thing and I'm doing mine and it's not like neither one of us is doing some extravagant huge big thing it's just like you just grow out of that person and it's no hard feelings but at the same time it's just like the ad because you know you kind of wanted to to work with that friend but when you're around each other it's just like oh we cool but then it's like we don't really hit each other up outside of that you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's okay as you get older to grow out of people in situations because that's a part of growth in life and if you continue to be the same person and doing the same thing, I don't think that's really much growth for me, you know. You just still stuck in the the past basically and you just need to move forward from it. So yeah, I feel like um it's normal, it's natural in life to just grow out of certain things and just become your own like I wouldn't say individual, you've always been your own individual, but like basically not not being around the same type of people all the time as you used to be. It is okay to do that because that comes with becoming an adult, <laughs> you know, getting older. So, and then also sometimes other people got things going on in their life and it's not always like they have time just to be around you 24-7. You know what I mean? But then you have those friends that you thought were going to be always around. And um, they just have nothing going for them. And you just feel like you're still, you know, like I said earlier, you're still doing this. Like, you know what I mean? So I had this quote that I posted, like, I want to say a couple of years ago on my Instagram, and I don't know what made me come across it, but I came across that. I'm going to put it on the side. And it was, I no longer force things, what flows with flows, what crashes with crashes. I only have space and energy for things that are meant for me. And I can resonate with that right now at the age I am. <laughs> because that is so true. With everything that was going on with me in the past couple of years, in this past, basically, mostly this past year, and it just was, you know, what I was going through, you kind of see who sticks around and who's like girl I don't got time <laughs> and like I said earlier that is okay like people pick and choose when you know they'll make that time but at the same time I also feel like if you really wanted to make that time you would make that time for that person but at the same time I get it like we're just not on the same path so like but like I was saying like I really was seeing who like I felt like you know, you stuck around with me. You stuck around with me when it was like really down and out. Cause whoo, I would say last year, the beginning of this year, your girl was going through it. <laughs> I still am. I'm not gonna lie. I have my moments, but literally, I can't lie to you. The four people that, or I would say the five people that I call majority of the time or text. Number one is my mom. <laughs> she always on speed dial. My older sister, who's my best friend, I just said, um, Justin, my boyfriend, 
I live with him. I know that man every day. <laughs> and my two close friends. That's E. But that's what I'm saying. Like, as I get older, like, I realize, like, I don't want meaningless relationships. I don't want meaningless friendships. I want some friendships, like, where I can, like, girl, I'm calling you when I'm just... Not just a call to talk about drama. <laughs> like, the call, like, I got a business plan. Do this sound like a good idea? Or the call, like, if I just, you know... Girl, just to see how you and the kiddos or whoever's doing. Like, you know, actually, like, make up for a brunch date and we actually attend it. You know how black people make plans and we never go through with the plans. <laughs> Which is 99% of the time. Hmm. Never go through with the plan at all. <sighs> anyway. So the foundation that I'm using, guys, is the Born to Glow NYX foundation. I am in the shade Neutral Tan. Yo, I remember a few videos back. I said natural tan on this. I'm like, yo, they probably think I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> it's neutral tan. For for all. But now, nah, y'all. Um, like I was saying with that quote earlier, I can resonate with that because, like, I'm not chasing <laughs> no friendship. I'm not chasing no relationship that is, like, it doesn't mean anything to me. Like, if you're they're with me on my journey to become a better me each day that's great i applaud it thanks for rocking with me but if you decide to leave during that time i will never hold nothing against you like <laughs> i just wish you the best because i would never go backwards <laughs> i would never chase a friend like i would never i remember right when i was younger i used to be like i wanted some friends you can <laughs> Ask my mom every other day. I was like, Mom, I have no friends. My mom used to be like, for what? You don't need no dang old friend. <laughs> that used to be her favorite line. It's like, you don't need no friends. <laughs> but like, as I was getting like, you know, older and I was in school and all that something, I noticed like the people that I used to rock with during high school, I used to, I, we just stopped being friends. And then the friends I have now, like, I notice they're kind of on the same wave as I am. I don't have kids. <laughs> like, a couple of friends, they have kids. But um, when I say the same wave, like, they're just, you know, trying to become basically a better them each day. They're, you know, they're working. They're moms. They um, basically living their life. But they don't, they don't expect you. <laughs> they, I don't expect more from them because I know they got ish going on. And the same with me. We're on the same accord, basically. And that's when I say when it comes to, like, with growth, like, you just know, like, girl, I don't have time to be talking to you every day. They're like, girl, we feel you. Because I text the group chat when I text the group chat. They text the group chat when they can, too. Like, literally the other night, my friend was like, girl, I'm studying and I just wash my hair. I'm about to go to bed because I got to get up early to go to work. And my friend was like, yeah, I got to get up early to work. I'm like, well, I'm off, but... I have things to do. Like, it was just like we all <laughs> was checking in. But it was like, okay, girl. <laughs> well, we'll hit you back when we're all free. But, yeah, like. But we still managed to make time. That's what the the, the group of friends I have right now. When I can't say group because it's literally two people. <laughs> but basically, yeah, that's, you know, that's it. But um, when I was talking about, like, also goals, like. Everybody's goals and becoming what they feel is goal oriented is different than yours. Because some people can be like, my goal today is to just to get up out of the bed. <laughs> and that's my goal for the rest of 365 days. Because we don't know what they're going through. It could be hard for them to get out of the bed. We don't know. We don't know. And there can be somebody's goal was like, my goal is to make, I don't know. <laughs> Or we, I want to say make or become an entrepreneur. Say that. Say it like that. And you'd be like, well, dad, that's a huge goal. Mm, that's not something I would, you know, would want to say. But, you know, that could be somebody else's goal. But the point is, like, you, you just feel like... I don't know. You just feel like everybody's goals in life is just what resonates with what's going on with them and what they want out of life. 
and I remember I was younger and I wanted so much a lot <laughs> and now today as an adult I just want to I just want a piece of mine <laughs> I just want a piece of mind it, it, it used to be a lot but like I want this I want this I want that I want that I remember having a conversation with my stepdad I don't remember if it, I was in high school or I was in college I don't remember but I remember this conversation we were having. He was like, so what's the race? <laughs> and I was like, what? He's like, what's the big race? Like, what happens when you get to the end of the finish line? You got everything. So what? he said, you got everything. So what happens when you get to the finish line? And I was like, <laughs> I really couldn't answer that because honestly, I didn't know. He's like, you're rushing to get to somewhere, and you're finally there, so, what's next? <laughs> what happens when you get to the finish line? Why are you so in a rush to get to the finish line? Now, don't get me wrong, my parents are very strict when it comes to, like, actually having something going for yourself, because they didn't play that <laughs> at all. <laughs> Trust me, they really didn't. But, um, at the same time... I, I would never forget that converse, uh, conversation we had. That's one of the lessons I actually learned. And it's I still also struggle with. Because I always feel like I have to get to somewhere. I have to become somebody. I have to do something with myself. Or I'm going to feel like a complete failure. You know what I mean? And I remember him saying, like, what's what happens when you get to the finish line? <laughs> and I was like, I really couldn't answer. Until this day, I really can't, still can't answer that. I don't know. <laughs> so now that has me thinking like what is a freaking rush? If you know what you want to do and what you want to become and what you have to do to get there, you're just going to have to take those steps. Now, if you just sit there and expect it to happen, it's not going to happen. But if you work hard towards it, then of course you know it's going to happen. But again, it takes time. And that comes with growth. Because when I was younger, this type of conversation would annoy the mess out of me. I would have been like, girl, I don't care. <laughs> I need this now. I want this to happen now. I don't care what you're saying. It needs to be happening now. Today. Right now. And I still have those moments where I'm like, I want it to happen now. Like, for instance, uh, me becoming diagnosed with lupus. I want to become better now. When I mean better, I mean I want this treatment to be over. <laughs> I don't want to feel sick like this on a daily basis, but I have to realize it took time. And I had a pep talk with my mom the other day with that because, um, you know, I was feeling really blue about that. Like, why the heck is it not happening? I want it to happen now because literally I'd be having my days where I'd be feeling, I'd be losing faith. And that's not good because you have to literally keep the faith and just feel like it's going to happen. You just have to work towards it and just have, you know, your trial and error and just... Be patient you know what I mean so that's what I mean when it comes with like growth and stuff in certain situations you just have to realize <sighs> things don't happen when you want it to happen it just happens when it's meant to happen so and that comes with growth. getting older understanding realizing you know Everything happens for a reason and all that stuff. But it's all part of it's all part of life. I meant to tell you, I don't know if I told you through my last video. This concealer from my comb, I feel like it's basically like a little foundation in a bottle, but it is it do something. It do something. It is full coverage. It's basically like excuse me, the foundation in a little bottle. It stay all over concealer. But look home, I really feel like, and I'm in the um this highlight shade 360. I really feel like though, y'all just put the foundation in a little bottle. But uh, don't call me on that. I could be wrong. But that's what I feel. <laughs> and again, I'm gonna put everything I use in the description box below. But yeah, so basically, y'all, uh, yeah, that's that's what that's what. I've been feeling lately like I used to really say um 
to my sister. <laughs> I'm gonna join this little friend app <laughs> and go to the, like a little cafe and find me a little friend. Not like that, like like a legit, like a legit friend. <laughs> I was just like, oh, you're like a freaking weirdo. <laughs> it's like, she be so blunt. And I'd be like, no, because I feel like for a second my eyes started burning, y'all. I don't know. I'm all messed up in the game. <laughs> but no, since I was like, no, because. But I have to realize something like as I. As I like have, cause I I like I don't mind having conversations with people, but I have it has to be a meaningful conversation, and I realized something as I was getting older. Even when I was younger, people my age, or younger than me, some people I can't say all, but some people my age and some people younger than me, the conversations it made no sense to me. My intellect was bored. <laughs> I used to sit there like. Mm -hmm. Some, not all, because there's even kids younger than me that are, their intellectual level is off the charts. And I'd be like, wow, can I learn from you? So I can't say all, but like majority of the people that I was around, it was just like. <laughs> Although I didn't mind having conversations with my parents because it was like, there I could pick their brains. I wouldn't say I could pick their brain because they wouldn't let me. <laughs> they wouldn't let me in all the way, but like. Whenever they did let drop a few jewels, I was always interested. So that's what I mean when I have meaningful conversations and it comes that comes with growth. Like, cause even some kids, not kids, even some adults my age, excuse me, they still talk about dumb stuff and <laughs> I'd be so bored. And I'm like, oh, I can cross you off the list though. I don't even want to consider you a associate because I'm bored. Like, no, I don't. I don't know. And that also comes with your interests too, which again comes with as you get older, growing into yourself, and you know, realizing you know who you want to be around, who you want to spend your waste your energy. When I say waste your energy, is no matter even if it's in a good situation, you're still giving that another person, another individual, your energy. So, who you're giving your energy to, basically is worth your time so even if it's five minutes i just gave you five minutes of my energy girl and it was it wasn't even worth it. <laughs> like you have to realize that and as i got was getting into the age i am now i realized like some days i just <laughs> i'd be wanting to have some deep conversations and i can have that with the friends i have now and my sister and you know my boyfriend, I haven't really had a deep conversation with my parents in a long time, actually. But when I used to live with them, we used to always have conversations, mostly with my stepdad. You would mostly pick my brain and see where my head is. And I would learn more from him. So it was like, it was like that. Those are the conversations <laughs> that I like to have. So when I say when I want a friend, I want a friend who I can have conversations like that with. Like, I don't want anything boring. Because then I'll be like. <laughs> when is this conversation over? Because <laughs> I want to I wanna move on from it. So that comes with you growing into yourself and knowing what you know you want. And there's people out there who feel the stuff that I talk about is completely boring. They don't got time for it. They're like, girl, you know. Do you do anything fun? I remember I was um, close to this girl in high school. I don't know what made her hit me up. Oh, I wish her a happy birthday. Because we were still friends on social media. So I was like, happy birthday. And she said to me, oh, girl, I'm going out to a club or something like that. I was like, oh, that's nice. She was like, girl, yeah, do you want, do you, she I invited me. And I was like, oh, no, I don't really do the whole club thing. And she was like, you still don't do the whole club thing? And I was like, it's just not me. I mean, I don't know nobody who do it. I mean, go you. I just don't personally do it. It's not my thing. <laughs> she was just like, you still don't do that? And I was just like, girl, no. I said, maybe if you want to go to like brunch, go to like a museum, art gallery. Girl, I'll meet you there. <laughs> I like fun stuff like that. To me, it's fun. 
but you know to you and i may may seem boring i mean i may go to a lounge or something but i'm like i'm not i don't want to go to the club but i don't knock nobody who does that that's another thing that's i don't just because i don't do it don't mean i'm gonna be like oh why are you doing that no girl have a go show out <laughs> have a good time i just bring the do that even my friends so I'm looking for my powder brush. I know that it's dirty. <gasps> no. I can use a sponge. <laughs> I did all that. I can use a sponge. But, um, so my friends go to, um, clubs still. And I'm like, girl, I, go ahead. Show out. I don't care. It's just personally not my thing. <laughs> but, she made it like a like a big deal, but she's like, "Why are you saying that?" I'm like, "Cause I don't." She was like, "After all these years, yeah." <laughs> I don't know. It just, I just feel like as you get older, you you figure out what you like, what you don't like. Things change, your views change. You know, and all resonates in who you want to be around, who you want to waste your energy on, you know, at the end of the day. So, that's basically about it, y'all. Like, I just feel. And now, when you, and I feel like this, that the whole growth thing, that resonates not just with friendships, but also with relationships now, personally. Because you can be in a relationship with, I think I put too much powder on here. <laughs> Sorry y'all. You could be in a relationship with somebody for years. Years. And um I don't know. Not you don't just wake up and go out of the the um the situation you are in. But you just feel like, man, I really just feel like this person that I'm with, they're not they're not trying to do anything different. It's kind of like they got comfortable. And you try working on it and you try working on it with the person, but they're not trying to change. They give you the same mundane answer. It's not like they're trying to put forth any effort. You know what I mean? That's when you like, okay, I'm growing out of this relationship. I need to step back. Look, look at this. Like, is this worth fighting for? Or is it worth like me just moving on? Just me just walking away from this situation. And that's when you got to realize, is the grass green on the other side? Or is it like... Let me try to make it work. And if you keep trying and it's just like, forget about it. Then, you know, go on your own accord. So, yeah. That too. I can't say much for any other relationship situation. But, and then, I, like, it, that resonate, this whole thing resonates anything. It's the same thing with a job. Like, you're at a job and they're not giving you a good enough raise. Or you feel they're not appreciating you enough anymore. That basically comes down to the same thing. You gotta just walk away from this the situation that you're in because you've grown out of that, and you just need to move on from it. You know. So the powder I'm using now, y'all, is the Fit Me powder. I use basic, basically, excuse me, the same products. Um, every video. Sometimes I'll switch up a product or two. But if y'all look in the description box, y'all will see. <laughs> but I don't know if y'all do, because not a lot of y'all watch my makeup videos. But y'all should know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But I remember, um, I'm sorry, this powder is getting everywhere. And I haven't even worn this black robe in my life. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get it dirty. But I remember, excuse me, my, um, I was speaking to my therapist and she was telling me, um, I was like, I felt like I wasn't being more open to people. And maybe that's why people veer away from me. Because <laughs> I remember this girl at my job, she was like, I get it that you're a very private person, but every time... <laughs> I invite you somewhere you turn you turn the other cheek or you turn it away or some some ish she said and I was just like I just don't catch a vibe with you <laughs> at first she was confused like what but I was like I just don't 
Y'all, my camera shut off. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I don't remember what I had left off and said. But I think I was saying, like, this girl invited me somewhere at my job. And I told her no because <laughs> I didn't catch a vibe with her at work. And I get it, we at work. But at the same time, if I don't feel in my spirit that I want to give you my energy and time, I'm not going away. <laughs> and it's no hard feeling. I'm not trying to be like, Ugh. and I and I get this reputation at the job like I'm just like more standoffish, and it's not that case. I just I'm very picky with my time. And I remember I was explaining that to my um, therapist. Like I feel kind of bad because how I was raised like is to keep home home and private see privacy and don't be running your mouth. And I don't really run my mouth at the job. Wish people take all that advice. <laughs> Cause I be knowing too much information I don't wanna know. And she said, no. That's a good thing, Kia. <laughs> Whoever said that, your parents said that then, yeah, that's, um, that's a good thing. <laughs> that is perfectly fine. And I was like, she said, being open to certain things as in like, exploring and getting out more that's different than opening up to people randomly because <laughs> i was like i don't be telling people randomly and they be wanting to know like hey kia you know what's going on with you and blah 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 and i just be like you know you know life <laughs> and i just keep it plain and simple because like i don't know i just feel like I have to fully trust you and it takes a lot to trust somebody that you just freaking met. Like, girl, I just met you. Back off. <laughs> I don't know you like that. It's a difference because if I tell you something that you feel is personal, it's something that is not personal, that personal to me that I don't really care to know. It's like, I let people know whatever I feel I don't care for other people to know. That I don't care that you're going around saying it because I told you that because I know I don't care. If other people know but if it's something I'm not telling you it's because it's personal to me and you know I don't feel you should know that <laughs> excuse me oh excuse me but I'm contouring my nose with this minted bronzer I really like this bronzer it's in the shade beach bum I like it I have so many bronzers, y'all. It's ridiculous. And I didn't even get to use the new Juvia's Place one, which I'm going to use because I really like it. It looks, it looks cute. <laughs> I have so many freaking bronzers. And I told myself, I'm not going to buy any more new one. What I do, purchase the Juvia's one. Right off of Ulta. Mm. Mm. Somebody needs to delete the Ulta app off my phone. Because... <laughs> I'm like, also gotta sell. Oh, clicky, clicky. <laughs> Got a problem. But yeah, basically, that was all for my little chit chat, y'all, because I just felt like I needed to share my little. Whatever. My fault and views. It's probably some, you know, stuff y'all probably already heard. I already know. Uh oh, did I put too much? Lord Jesus. I'm busy talking. I'm gonna put the whole. Oh, I ain't put that much. I ain't put that back. <laughs> I'm annoying. Mm. But, um, just some stuff I thought I should, you know. I just wanted to chit chat. Some stuff I was just thinking about. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make my nose crooked. Cause you could do that. You could do that. You could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You could do that. But anyway, I'm going to finish the rest of my face off the camera, y'all. And I'm going to come back and show y'all the finishing look. It's really nothing more to do but spray my face in mascara. But yeah, I'm going to be back. Finishing look. I just kept it real simple with this nice, cute, curly, poofy wig. I just um, used the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. I don't know what shade this is, but I really, really like this shade. It's like a pinkish color. 
not too light pink, but it's just the cute amount of pink. I don't, I don't see the shade on here. If it is, I don't, I don't see it. But I really like this one, and I just lined my um, lips with some pencil from NYX um, in the shade um, soft brown, and yeah. And this is the finishing look, guys. What I used to set my face, I used the Fix Me Setting um, Prep and Prime Setting Spray. I really like the setting spray. They have different scents, but um, I forget which one I'm getting next. But when this is done, I'm getting another one. But yeah, y'all, this is it. Don't forget to like this video and comment below about the conversation, the chit chat I was having. Like, I like to talk back to y'all. Like, come on now, comments below. And anyway, I know what I'm about to say. If you caught this vibe with me, for however long this video is, if you caught that vibe, you might as well like, you might as well subscribe. Thank you.